Hi Aries, welcome to your Quantum Entanglement reading with me, Jocelyn, the Quantum Queen. I'm gonna take that. Why? Okay, I'm just going to. That's what I was told to. Okay, so this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, or Rising. And as always, welcome to my Cross Watchers. Cross Watcher, you could be dealing with an Aries and the message could actually be for you. So feel free to take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind that these are general and timeless readings. If you guys are wanting to book a one-on-one, -on -one, my website information is down below in the description box and they are about to open up. So you guys can either just keep in touch on my website and wait for it there, or you can subscribe to my website and I will send out a nice little uh, convenient email blast so that you guys get first dibs. Okay, let me grab your door. And as always, just wanted to say, oh, no, thank you for liking, subscribing, and thank you for all your donations. I love you guys so much. Okay. What are you? No, these keep coming out. Although maybe this is what... I'm going to go ahead with you. Okay. There's your door that is opening. Okay. Aries. All right. Well, I'm not really surprised to be seeing these ones that popped out. Like I said. All right. You've got warrior here, and it's, these are so perfect because um, you are Mars, and Mars is retrograde right now. I know I've been telling you guys this constantly for the past two weeks, so there could be something about like this uh, more of a masculine energy coming up within you, or you might hear something from someone, okay? Because, Aries, I think that, okay, you've got this warrior and anger. That's Mars energy straight up. It says, you are one with the divine, you are the universe, and then anger. You are holding on to anger that no longer serves you. So either that's you guys, or that's possibly a person that you're dealing with. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Sorry. Those are my other two cards. So someone might like have some type of reaction for you because i think this is what's happening the world is your playground what do you want some type of manifestation is coming in for you and look how pretty all the colors are god i love the backdrop okay so you end up a manifestation coming in or like things are opening up and the world is kind of becoming your playground like things are starting to happen for you and i kind of get this sense that someone's like a like killing that you know trying to be like it does feel a little bit like a saboteur i was getting a little bit of this in leo's uh reading which is interesting because i'm kind of getting that with you so someone might be watching you get some type of manifestation and they might not like that very much and this is similar to it was kind of similar to Taurus and Leo. So I don't know if you guys have a connection to that sign. If that's either in your chart or you're dealing with that. So if that's the case, you guys can jump over to those other readings. Because they were different in other ways. So let me see. Let's grab one more card. Because yeah, I think that there could be an opportunity that's coming up out of nowhere. Okay. Okay. So you got the moon and the chariot. Here's what I'm going to tell you guys straight up. Okay. There is nothing wrong with it. I, this is kind of what I'm seeing. So I'm not recommending anything. You guys will know your situation more than anything. But I would just try to... If you have really cool things manifesting, especially with the chariot, if m energy is moving forward for you, if there's possibly even opportunities coming up, you've got success from your efforts, like a direction is coming in for you, and that can be travel and relocation, okay? Just saying, if that applies to you guys, keep it under wraps. Also, um, oh man, if this is the case, someone might be like... There's just an illusion around this energy. So not really revealing plans or what you're planning to do. Because you might kind of cause some type of trigger reaction with someone. Okay, so for example, if this is like a past person, 
with the warrior. Maybe, for example, this is an ex. You've got a manifestation coming on, uh, coming up and maybe it's a vacation or a trip. The, I would just keep it under wraps. <laughs> like, at least until you land. Or make sure, would just kind of double check, like, your avenues of communication. You know what I mean? Because someone might be wanting to reach out and respond. I'm not worried about you guys. You guys can always hold your own. But I'm just saying, that might be coming up for you guys over the next week or so. So let me, let me see what's coming in. Wow. Yeah, you've got the Wheel of Fortune. This is bomb. Aries. Wow. Okay, yeah. Things... Um, the wheel is turning and I also get the sense that, yeah, it's, it's pretty much, uh, like where things have been really dark, you've got a pendulum swing kind of moment coming in. So it's like this amazing blessing that's coming in from what has happened in the past. I keep talking in a really weird way. Like, I don't know. I just keep noticing it. Sorry. That was random. You have the seven of swords. That's what I was saying. When this wheel is turning for you, when, like, your karma, don't reveal anything, okay? Seven of Swords. Like, be very discerning about what you reveal. And this is in a good way, all right? That can be, like, sneaky and stuff, but I'm just saying you've got manifestation coming in and that's exactly what I'm seeing here. That someone might... The wheel is turning for you and someone might not be the biggest fan of it, all right? So you have to be conscious of both sides of things because you guys might be legit dealing with someone who, like, is trying to take advantage of your energy or is a bit of, like, looks at you as a support, uh, like, a source of energy or supply. And you've got the strength card. Yeah, Aries. Wow. These are, like, really powerful cards. You're, you're pretty much transforming into this force to be reckoned with you know you're becoming more empowered there are things that are really turning around from you and it's just because of everything that you've been learning maybe about like just taking power over your own life like if something isn't going the way that you're expecting you're not really like looking to other people or in any type of codependency you're just taking power over it you're deciding to create it for yourself if you feel like you're lacking from something and that empowerment is really bringing in amazing manifestations for you. In your past position, we have the higher font. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. With it's it's coming down to the things that you guys have learned as far as to this point. Your your day to day routines, the traditions that you have for yourself, your spiritual discipline, things like that, your connection to your guides in the universe, like the the things that you have a go to and that you've been sticking to is bringing in all these freaking opportunities for you, okay? On the other side of it is the Six of Wands. Aries, wow. That's victory. That's maybe even being in the spotlight. That's what I've been talking about. So that's what I'm saying. Things are going really good for you. You're coming into success. And I'm just telling you, Keep it under wraps. I, it, I'm not saying like lie, but just use your own discernment with how to handle things right now because people are going to be triggered very easily at this point in time, okay? With Mars retrograde is, is going to be a little insane. In the fear position is the King of Cups. So this, for some of you guys, could be a water sign, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This could be... Oh, ah... This is what I'm getting, Aries. Th remember how I kind of mentioned this could be an X for some of you guys? It doesn't have to be, though. I mean, this can play out co-workers. It can play out in family, siblings. If it, This can be triggered anywhere. But there's someone here, King of Cups, where I'm seeing it's like someone who possibly like is in and out. You know, kind of like one foot in, one foot out. And it could be in their energy. So that they kind of they want the freedom see that foot in the air they want the freedom that of like maybe non-commitment or but they also don't want to lose the emotional connection so that's why they keep in some way shape or form an emotional connection to you that's the seven of swords okay i don't like it and there you are queen of wands i love when you guys make an appearance okay so there you are 
feeling super confident, maybe even working on yourself right now, like your looks and getting yourself back to a level of confidence where you just feel good about yourself. You're just like, yeah, I, I'm doing good. I've accomplished a lot. And that's why you've got this six of wands where you're coming out victoriously is that could have been also for some of you guys, the thing that you're working on consistently. The Hierophant is a lot of like day to day, small moving every day, learning something new, working through your emotions, continuing to stick to something connected to what the universe is communicating with you to do for yourself at this time with your own alchemy and that's why you're coming into this confidence because it's something that you've been working towards really slowly and in a very dedicated way to a pentacle so there's some choices coming in big time let's see what your final alchemy yeah wow queen of pentacles nice that's your freaking manifestation coming in so you've got some type of material manifestation coming in, whether that's like more money or that could be something that you're doing. So it's like this two of pentacles actually feels really good because there's like things you've got choices that are opening up for you. Now, remember what I said here at the beginning with the manifest, it says like the world is your playground. What do you want? There you are making, you've got like things, material things and abundance manifesting to where you're going to have options. And to do what's best for yourself, which is giving you a crap ton of confidence. So just watch these little peeps that come in. You've got the Three of Cups, which is your door opening. A toast to friendship in the afternoon sun. Three cups and happiness, three cheers are done. Celebration is near, Aries. Yeah, you are pretty much... This whole thing manifesting for you is going to put you right in line with friends, people that you can celebrate with. It's like people that energetically, like in a 5D way, they've been waiting for you to get to this point. And when you guys come together, it's going to feel like, yeah, like you're just going to know. All of you guys have been on a similar path. And you guys are very even in your energies as far as what you've been manifesting. Dude, I love your reading. So Aries, I'm going to dive into the extended. We'll see whatever else wants to come out. So if you guys want to join me over there, feel free. Go down below, click on the Vimeo link, and I'll see you over there. But Aries, if this is where we leave things, I'm sending you guys so much love. Wishing you all the very best, and I'll see you in your next reading. Take care.